Hey guys, what's going on today? Bojo here, and we are back with our NHL 15 Be a Pro series following Rick DiPietro and the Calgary Flames. So, last time we went up against the Vancouver Canucks, and unfortunately we lost that game 3-1 to with an empty netter. And uh, that was kind of a rough game, that freaking puck between our legs and then that cross-crease goal which went in, but what are you going to do? Calgary, I thought, was going to give us a bit more offense against the struggling maybe Ryan Miller, but unfortunately they couldn't get that done. So we did take the loss for that. Uh, save percentage wasn't too bad. We only let up really two goals, but whatever. But we have a very nice game here to rebound. The Calgary Flames have kind of fought back to the record, too, as well. They're 13-13-1. And we have a struggling Buffalo Sabres team coming into town today in Calgary. All right, so for this game, let's let's change up the jerseys a little bit. First time we've changed the jerseys so far this year, I think, other than the opening day. Let's use these. I like the alternate ones with the name written out on them. I think those jerseys are cool. So we'll rock those tonight. And uh, I checked the stats on Buffalo. Nothing good about this team whatsoever. Down in the bottom 10 for power play. Down the bottom 10 for penalty kill. Uh, points scored. Shooting percentage. Shooting percentage was near the middle, so they do take a good bit of shots. But, yeah, they're kind of struggling on all cylinders. Power play, penalty kill, all that good stuff. Just like this year. Not really. They're actually been, they've been playing pretty good as of recently. Not going to knock them for that. Doing better than the Flyers, I think. But whatever. It's not a Philadelphia Flyers or a Buffalo Sabres podcast. This is a Be a Pro here with Rick DiPietro. Finally, I think this is our first home game this year, too. Um, is it our first home game this year? I forget. No, I don't think so. I think this is our second home game. Because we played, well, we played in Chicago, in Montreal, then home against Montreal, or home against Montreal, then in Montreal. Yeah, that's what it was. And then uh, at at Vancouver, at Carolina. Yeah, so this is our only our second home game this year. So Sven Barchi, has got some, a lot of points there, 18 points so far for him. A lot of points. All right, so Rick DiPietro gets to start tonight. Two and three with a 1.8 goals against average. Save percentage of .878 and one shutout. So save percentage, once again, not really the best, but, you know, we're going to have that down near, like, the high 80s, low 90s throughout the year. And then Michael Neuferth is going to get the start for Buffalo. That's another reason why their goals against average was so high. 6-12 and 12 with a 3.11 goals against average. Save percentage of .898 and one shutout. So, yeah, Michael Neuverth not doing the greatest for the Sabres so far this year. But here we go. We finally get a home game here in Calgary. And let's get it started. Buffalo against Calgary. Would have been a boring game maybe a couple of years ago, but uh, right now would be an exciting game to watch. Calgary, you know, in the real life NHL, they're a pretty good team right now. That was a really good saucer pass. And Myers takes it up, turns it over to Raymond right in front of Hoodler. Shot blocked, though, barely by Michael Neuverth. And then a wraparound chance by Hoodler. He misses the net. And Josh Georges will take it over to Matt Molson. Oh, yeah, Matt Molson. I forgot about that last time we played that game. Remember that tip that Matt Molson got in that game when we were the goaltender for the Islanders? Oh, look at that play there by Tyler Ennis. Tries for a double deke. Uh, Giordano still has it. Tyler Ennis tried to deke him off it, but they get it back. Mason Raymond uh, trying to work around Tyler Myers. He does. Passes it back, though. Weidman's got it. Back to the other point to Giordano. Over to the corner to Hoodler. Out in front, back to Weidman, back to Hoodler. A uh, nice puck moving around here. Giordano, Raymond, back to Hoodler, back to Giordano again. Oh, nice little feed there. Raymond, back to the other point. Look at this passing by Calgary. Oh, and there's <laughs> a tip pass that was intended for Hoodler. Went up into the air, and it is a delayed power play or a delayed penalty on the Buffalo Sabres. And it looks like they're going to get Tyler Myers here for uh, interference, I guess, on Granlin. Oh, my God, Granlin kind of sold that a little bit. That's fine. He's been playing pretty good since he's uh, been brought back up. <clears throat> And this will be a good chance, too, for Calgary. We want to get off to our early lead because our defense is kind of struggling, too. So we want to get some goals, and we want to get some goals early against this team. Uh, Mazzaro's tried to clear it out, and he will clear it out off the boards and out of the zone. Calgary didn't even get a chance to set up. All right, so TJ Brody now gets his chance on the power. Boy, TJ, don't turn that over. Zemgis, the Gergster. Yep, there's that pass in front again. You know how I despise those. Passes from the point to a guy right in the front of the net into the slot area. I don't like that. All right, so here's Goudreau. Lots of speed. Johnny Goudreau over to Granlund. Uh, again, trying to set up that cross crease over to, I think, Hoodler. But no avail there. Missed the puck both occasions. All right, Brody takes it now. Brody gets rid of it. Over to Goudreau. Over to Hoodler. Back to Goudreau. 
Right, Johnny Goudreau passed over to Hoodler. Oh, tried to go back to Goudreau, but he got taken off the puck and tried to go back to Jared Denham, but he wasn't even in the zone yet. And that will be offsides. So Calgary 5-5 five five in their last 10 games. We're doing okay. 500 team right now. We definitely have the possibilities to be higher than that. Uh, get in there. Get in there, Barchi. There you go. Uh, cross crease in front. There you go, Mason Raymond. Nice play by Sven Barchi to stay with that play. Crosses the... Crosses the puck over the two. Oh, 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 oh my god, I can't even talk. Cross crease goal over to Raymond. There you go, Joe. Use your words. I think I'm going to turn up the goal horn as well in, uh, in this thing. I think I'll do that during intermission. I want to turn it up a little bit louder. Even though I can't hear it right now, I think it's I think it's still a reasonable volume. But I want the goal horn to be a, lot, a little bit louder than everything else. But that was a nice play. Barchi, uh, Barchi stayed with the play. I think they tried to clear it out, and Barchi got a stick on it, and he went for the went for the puck in the corner, sauced it out in front again over to Mason Raymond, who puts it in the back of the net, and we got our power play goal there from Mason Raymond. Assist from Sven Barchi, and he go out to a one to nothing lead for the Calgary Flames. So that's what we want to do. We want to score goals, and we want to score goals early here on this Buffalo team that's struggling. All right, Barchi back to the point to Wideman. Giordano uh, back into the back of the net for Goudros. Cross crease again over to Backlund, but a little bit of a weak shot there and saved by Neuwirth and okay here's Cody McCormick Cody McCormick McCormick over to the corner tries to cross crease over to Delorier Bristol Linen uh, Delorier uh, try another freaking pass out in front bouncing the little puck but the Flames do get it Goudreau nice little spin move uh, not Goudreau uh, but still Goudreau has it now and Goudreau uh, working the puck himself. He still has it. Goudreau do something with it. All right, Johnny Goudreau, one-man team. Backland. Oh, he had a wide-open man of Barchi in the corner there. Up shot by Goudreau. Oh, 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 oh penalty. Giordano, first McCormick. Step up. Step up, Mark. Step up, Mark Giordano. Step up for it. I think there was a delayed penalty. That's why I think the puck went into the net. And uh, you know what? I think there is a penalty called here. But, oh, look at this. Giordano. Giordano. Throwing some, throwing some haymakers on freaking uh, from McCormick. There you go, Mark. There you go. There you go. Oh, another uppercut. Man, he used so many uppercuts in that fight. There you go. The captain stepping up for his teammates. Mark Giordano steps up for his teammate there. And uh, I think it was a delayed penalty of some sorts on somebody. And uh, Mark Giordano stepped up for the fight on Cody McCormick. I do think there is a penalty against the Flames because I think there was a goaltender interference call. Is that bouncing puck? Yeah, somebody's in the bench. Yeah, Barchi's in the box for probably goaltender interference call. Buffalo's going to go on the power play now. All right, Grigorenko wins it. Back to Myers. Over to Felino and wide to the net. I saw that coming a mile away. Yep, there you go. Face the shot. Make sure he doesn't get anything. Like, he couldn't even turn around because I was out, out there on the puck so much. Stewart. Uh... Polino out in front. Oh, off the bar. Oh, double save by Di Pietro. Rebound, like, composes himself after the shot hits the post. Gets back for the rebound to make the save. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. Brody versus Stewart. Man, Buffalo. Buffalo want to start some shit in this game. So, yeah, I hate those pucks around the back of the net. Do not like them. All right, Weidman get that out. There you go, off the boards. And Mazar also holds it there, though. All right, over to Cody Hodgson. Cody Hodgson. Ennis, so oh, we do make the save on Tyler Ennis. Dish that out. There's nobody right there. There you go. Dump it out. Nice play by England. And Noiver wanted retreat. to go grab it. Mazaros will. Right, Cody Lay Hodgson up to Matt Molson. Here's Matt Molson. Matt Molson trying to get around them. And once again, try for a cross crease out in front. Molson up. Oh, Molson again gets it right back, though. Tyler Myers shot. Deflection up in the air. Weidman takes it. Nice saucer pass, though, out of the zone. Uh, 20 seconds still left on the power play. Here's Tyler Ennis. Tries to walk right in. Can't get around England. There you go. Up to Monaghan. And he'll take it to the zone, which probably will. He'll dump it around. Smart play. That'll pretty much do it for the Buffalo power play as Barchi's out of the box. And they kill off the Buffalo power play. Nicely done, boys. Right, here's Cody Hodgson. Oh, drops off for Ennis. Back to Hodgson. On the short side shot, though, but saved by Di Pietro. Molson. Ooh, Jesus. Tried to go for that short side shot. Squeaked it right through the blue paint. Monahan takes off uh, Hodgson off the puck and gets it up to Raymond. Use that speed, and he gets killed by Tyler Myers. And notifications are still on. Great. All right, Cody Hodgson gets leveled at the line. Here's Matt Molson. Walks right in front. Five-hole save, though, by DiPietro. England around the boards over to Raymond, and he'll wrap it around the other side over to Granlund. Stops up. Back to Brody. Brody up to Hoodler, who has some light here. 2-1-2. Two, 2-1-2. One, two. Two, one, two. Granlin stops skating, though. Uh, tried to dish it back to the point. And, oh, boy, here's Tyler Myers with a 2-1-2. Two, two. 
Tyler Myers cuts to the wing, though. And, oh, man, tried to center it again. Wotherspoon takes it off, though. Eight seconds still left here. Ristolainen. Rasmus Ristolainen. Ristolainen, however you want to say it. Slap shot up. Deflection. Wotherspoon right there for the rebound. Good play, Tyler. And they will end the first period. So a lot of flurry here in both ends, honestly. Go for a sip of that H2O. Good period. I deserved it. Wow, that's the same animation twice on the same character. Character model in the stand. So that's the only goal of the first period. That nice play from Sven Barchi over to Mason Raymond in front of the net. Mason Raymond, back-to-back -back games with goal. Well, back-to-back -back games I've started have, has had goals. So seven shots for the Sabres, four for the Flames. Time on attack is highly in the Flames' favor. Power plays each face-offs are split even. And a lot of pretty decent saves by DiPietro in that first period. I mean, Buffalo was definitely threatening. They had a lot of pucks missed the net. They had a lot of chances to score. They uh, hit the post, going through the blue paint. A lot of rebound possible goals, but you know what? Pucks stayed out in the net, and that's all that matters. All right, get ready for the second. All right, Granlin wins the faceoff, and back to him. Uh, can he get that over to Raymond? Nope, Tyler Myers takes it off him. And here's Ennis, three on two for the Sabres now. Uh, tries to hit it back to Stewart. There's that cross crease again. George's back to Myers. Oh, man, wide, big slap shot wide the net. Here's Ennis over to Stewart. And, oh, there's that cross crease attempt again. I'm going to hold that dish that right out to Granlin. He's got room. There you go. Here they call me. Uh, and here comes Hoodler over the zone. Uh, tries to dish it back, though. Granlin gets it right back, though. Granlin uh, all the way into our zone, and you know what? That's good. He drew a defenseman out, or drew a forward out. That was a bad play there by whoever made that stupid deke at the line. Myers gets that up to Stewart. Here's Stewart over the blue line, and he's taken off the puck by Weidman, but he poke checked it back, and Stewart runs into somebody. Oh, we went off the post. We read that pretty well. Makes the save. Tyler Ennis now. Back to the point to George's. Wide the net. I knew that was going wide. I didn't really make it. Make an attempt to uh, make attempt to move. I knew that was going it's wide. The and they get it back up to Grandland, and he's killed by a defenseman. Gets killed by Josh Georges. Josh Georges into the zone now. Buffalo really threatening here. Buffalo, Felino shot. Glove save there by DiPietro. Wanted to play a little bit towards the middle. I knew that shot was going my side anyway. Monahan gets it back over to David Jones, who will dump it in at the center ice. Neuvirth back to play it. Neuvirth gives it over to Pisic or Mark Pisic. Hodson up to Marcus Foligno. Good job, and he's taken off the poke, checked off the puck by Giordano, and he will take the puck into the zone himself. Giordano around Pisic, and uh, he gets taken off, though, by Pisic. Uh, turns it over to David Jones, takes a shot, though, blocked in front again. Grigorenko hit on the play. Mazaros up to Foligno. All right, Weidman's back, though. Weidman's back. Watch that cross. There's that cross in front. God fucking damn it. There's that cross out in front. Fuck. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I didn't think when he was behind the net that far he would have done it. But shit, man. These crosses behind the net, man, are so freaking hard to defend. They really are. They're the hardest ones to defend. Those sauces out in front. Oh, my God. That's such a good play. That's such a good pass. That's such a good pass. It's a saucer pass right to freaking Cody Hodson, who's right in the middle of the slot there. Backhands at far side. It's a good play. Because I have to keep hold of the post there. I have to keep hold of the post. And when he sauces that puck, that puck out there, he has his he has his choice of what he wants to do there. But whatever. Buffalo gets a goal. Cross crease bullshit goal again. It seems like the only goals you let up in this game sometimes are the cross crease goals. But whatever. We'll have to fight through it. It's only a one to one game. All right, Barchi, nice deke. Brown Myers rebound. Goudreau takes it. Uh, tried to center it back again. Goudreau misses Barchi on the shot though. Larson up to Dalp. Uh, gets it back to Larson, back to Dolp, and collision there out in front. Then Wild lifts the line and sends it wide, deflected wide. Englund gets it up, though, back to Goudreau. And Johnny Goudreau taking it to himself. Uh, gets around Tyler Myers. Englund, once again, tries for another, like, kind of dish out in front cross crease. Here's Zemgis. Zemgis dumps it into the corner. Buffalo goes for a line change. Englund has plenty of time. Over to Colburn. And back to Goudreau. Up the ice to Barchisi, taken off though by Benoit. Weber over to Delorier. Delorier over to Weber, and glove save there by DiPietro. I'll hold that. I'll hold that one. I was about to dish it out to the right, but that might have been a very bad decision. 
<sighs> Alright, so 13 saves for DiPietro so far in this game. Not bad. Faced a lot of shots. McCormick, Weber, low shot. Delorier, shot again, saved by DiPietro, stayed with it. There's McCormick, shot again, saved by DiPietro. Giordano takes it out, up, bounce the puck. George's over to the point to Myers, glove saved by DiPietro, and he'll hold on to that again. Hey, hey, hey. That's about like three or four shots or five shots that we just faced there in that little flurry. But we still, it's still one to one game. All right, uh, nicely done there by Granlin to win the faceoff, Raymond around the back of the net. Dishes off the Hoodler. Over to Granlin. Granlin, uh, checked by Pysik, and he'll dump the puck into the corner. Giordano gets it up to Raymond with about four seconds left. Pysik will have to take the puck out of his zone. They're not going to get it back in time. And that'll do it for the second period. So only that one Buffalo Sabre goal by Cody Hodgson. And once again, Rick DiPietro stops probably a lot more shots in the second period, definitely in the first period. Still stay pretty tall. Calgary not really too much threatening in this game. But, you know, we're still we're keeping the team in that. Ah, sorry, guys. Whew. That water. Order gets me going. Going. All right. So 18 to five. 18 to five. Wow. We are getting our asses handed to us in this game. Buffalo uh, apparently decided to not play like their stats are showing in this game, and we've already gotten a seven, 17 out of 18 saves so far in this game. Wow. A lot of saves. A lot of saves for us. This will make our save percentage better if we don't give up that many goals in the third. But Calgary, you guys need to put some more shots on. I'm gonna go for a one-two-two aggressive kind of deal in this third, third period, period to see if we can way. get a goal Ties at the goal. very least. All right, he'll get rid of it. There you go. You drew two guys back. All right, Raymond. Oh, ooh, nice toe drag. Back to Granlin, but he couldn't get a shot off. All right, here's Matt Molson right up the middle. Back to Stewart. Tried to uh, center it again. Weidman uh, takes it back of line his own net. Granlin uh, misses his man. It's not going to be icing, though, because there was a guy in the vicinity. Neuberth will wrap it around over to George's. And he'll get that over to Ennis up the wing. Tyler Ennis has plenty of room to work with here. Uh, Saucer pass tried to feed it back to the point, though, but taken off by Raymond. And Raymond, once again, does that stupid deke the line. But he gets the puck dumped in. Myers holds himself against the boards. Molson will take it over to Stewart. Uh, missed the check there. Chris Stewart. Chris Stewart. Uh, he's met by a couple flames there, but they do get the puck off him. Hoodler right to the center to Granlin. Back to Stajan. Staging back to Granlin. Uh, back to Staging. Staging over to Hoodler. Back to Staging. Low shot. And Neuver tried to cover up, but Georges takes it up over to Hodgson. All right, here's Cody Hodgson. Uh, drives himself to the boards. Back to Felino. Back to Mazaros. Out in front again. Oh, man, that was a little bit dangerous. And here's Hoodler. Hoodler. Back to Giordano. Giordano working around the back of the net. Centers it out in front for Hoodler. Back to Monaghan. Back to Wyman. Takes a slap shot. Ooh, you know what? That was a really good look. I, th I would not be surprised. I would have not been surprised if that shot went in. I definitely would have not been surprised if that shot in. He squeaked that shot through two Buffalo defenders. And you know what? Neuverth was playing pretty far back in his net, too. That was a nice shot by Weidman. Mazaros had the one guy had Mazaros uh, held there. I guess Neuverth kind of had a clean look at it, but not really. There were three guys right there where the puck was shot, but still. That was a nice little uh, shot there by Weidman. All right, Goudreau ooh, takes a shot there. Nice little shot there by Johnny Goudreau. But saved by Neuvert. Here's Dolp. Dolp. Back in the, uh, over to Larson, over to Benoit, back to Ristolainen. Shot. Oh, my God. How does that go in? I'm anticipating the shot going right there. I'm anticipating the shot going right there. That's just a straight-up shot that beats me. Rasmus Ristolainen gets the goal from the point. A point shot. A point shot that's going to beat me. I don't even know if I should be up. Oh, man, am I screened? I might be screened. That's my glove side, too. Oh, my Jesus. DPS, you got beat there, son. Like, am I, I don't even know if I'm that far in my net. Like, I, like I'm tracking the puck. Unless Colburn got – Colburn and freaking – who's that? Uh – Unless Colburn and Dolph got in my way, but I don't really think they did. Let me see. Did Colburn get in my view right here? 
as the shot's being taken. Eh, uh, maybe. Oh, you, yep, there it is. You want to know the reason that goal went in? Right here, look. Right there. It's like I'm trying to, I'm looking around Joe Coleman, who was in my view, and then I see the puck coming. And obviously, um, since I'm a 71 rated goaltender, not going to be able to stop this puck. And that one just straight up beats me glove side. That's a shot that just straight up beats DiPietro uh, glove side. Wow. Because I had to look around Joe Colburn, who was in my freaking face. Okay. Well. Cross crease behind the net and a straight up slap shot that beats me from the point. Oh, Johnny Goudreau, that's the late penalty. Uh, okay. Sometimes I feel like I shouldn't change to my that view sometimes, but you know it keeps it, it keeps it entertaining. I gotta do it. I don't know what the penalty was. I'll go back and look at it. I'll go back and look at it, whatever. Alright, so Calgary with the power play here now. Guys gotta tie this game up. TJ Brody misses his man or gets poke checked off of it. Wotherspoon now. Tyler Wotherspoon. Get rid of it, bud. Yeah, there you go. Over to Barchi, over to Monahan. All right, come on, guys. You got to get set up in your zone here. Raymond, stick lifted. Mazaros takes a shot short side. Uh, that could have been a dirty play there. Hodson will dump it out. I'm going to go over and get this. Dump it back into the corner for Brody. Yeah. We're good. We're good. Just trying to keep the Buffalo Sabres out of our zone a little bit. Raymond still has it. Fake shot. Dished out in front. Oh, uh, jam up there in front of the net. But Calgary couldn't get a stick on it past Neuwirth. All right, come on, boys, come on. Uh, Georges loses the puck, though, off the faceoff. Barchi back to the point to Weidman. Over to Giordano. Out in front to Raymond. Oh, a backhand shot just wide. The net Barchi out in front. But it gets tipped all the way back into the zone. As Giordano will take it. And over to Raymond. Two guys there fighting for it. Raymond all over wing to Barchi. Gets hammered into the boards by Georges. He will dump it around. And Felino will beat him to the race. There's that cross crease out in front. That gets pushed off of me. And there's another deflection out in front. Buffalo freaking charging out here on the penalty kill. All right, Raymond with a toe drag. Tries to feed Barchi, but he takes the shot a bit too quickly. And that one passed out of the zone. Giordano up the wing again. Myers and Saucer pass up. Giordano gets it back. Stewart gets it back again. And Calgary's a little bit disorganized here. I'm, I'm, no, I'm not surprised that they're a little bit disorganized. They haven't taken that many shots in this game, to be perfectly honest, anyway. Uh, Wideman gets it out. There you go, over to Monaghan. Three minutes left, boys. Come on, you guys. Got to make something happen here. Uh, Hoodler tries to go for a damn toe drag again when he could have just took a shot. Right, to, get a, to get a line change here. Buffalo turns it over. Grandland, uh, Hoodler goes off sides. Minute 49 left on the clock here for the Flames. 14 to 4 of the hits. Buffalo's out hitting us like it's crazy. Buffalo wins the faceoff again. Mazzaro dumps it in, but off his own teammate. And Bolig will now grab it. Brandon Bolig dumps it in. Pissick, and he gets tries to get checked off the puck, but he gets up to Grigorenko. All right, Grigorenko, saucer pass out in front, covered by DiPietro. Get that out of England. There you go. Uh, no, he's not going to call me yet because it's not 30 seconds. Grigorenko still has it. Gets it up over to Stewart, and he'll dump it around the back of the net. Colburn takes it. Now I'm going to go. Oh, no, no, I'm not. Mazzaro still has it. And Stewart, and he gets taken off the puck. Colburn has it. Uh, yep, go, 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 go. Right, get that extra attacker out. Go, go, go. Get the extra guy out. Nope. Pissick, and he gets it. Ennis, Tyler Ennis, over the blue line. Takes a shot into the empty net. Oh, no, he went off sides. He went off sides. Let's see if they're going to keep me on the bench or they're going to pull me again. Who knows? Man, dude, are we going to have two losses in a row? Like, two really just bad losses? We've had a lot of saves and a lot of shots, but... Yeah, look at that. I mean, we saved 18 of 20, to be honest. It's not bad. That's a .9. That's a .9 save percentage. It's a .9 save percentage in this game. Grigorenko over to Felino, Hodgson, and he turns it over. Ten seconds still left. All right, let's go. One last flurry here. Granlund, Granlund over to Hoodler. Three seconds, two, one. Nope, and they're gonna get it. Felino dumps it out, and the Calgary Flames once again lose. Another one with only one goal of goal support for Rick DiPietro. 
Lots of rubber towards his net. That was a rough game. This was a lot closer. Honestly, that was a really, really rough game. That's it for another great night at a hockey. We lose the Buffalo. We had a really good we had a really good, good showing in net. We had a really, really good game in net. We did enough for our team to win. Our team just did not do enough for us to win. Only 11 shots for Calgary. Time and attack was dead even. Passing percentage was, like, dead even. We had an extra power play, but you know what? That's what the thing was, the power plays. Calgary did not... We didn't... Our, our power play, like, setup was really, really bad, to be honest. It was a really, really bad power play setup. And you know what? That's how this game kind of went. I mean... If we look at the goaltenders, Eric DiPietro has a .9 save percentage, only giving up two goals again. Yeah, but that's enough for you to win the game if you can have goal support against a team like Buffalo, who was well under 500, and we'd lose that game. Nothing, I, nothing I could do. I can't blame myself for that loss. I can't blame myself. Yeah, maybe the first, the first shot, the first goal, we might have could have saved, but then again, it's those cross creases from behind the net you can't do much about. And that one's kind of unfortunate. We did everything in our power to win that game, uh, to give our team the chance to win that game. And you know what? Sometimes it's two rough games in a row. That's two really bad games in a row that we've had to face here. Just two really crazy goals going in our net, and can't do nothing about that. Our save percentage goes up because of that game. Our record still suffers, but, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do sometimes? We lose to Buffalo. Of course we do. Of course we do. Nothing we can do. Nothing we can do. Just the offense just wasn't there that night again. Two games in a row that we started, the offense just wasn't there. Which is kind of unfortunate. At least we up our save percentage. That's good. We get it back up to an A minus. Get it back to an A minus. Uh, Schmid's good to return to the Russell. Chris Russell's back. All right. Yeah. Of course the game. The game like after. Uh, we lose that game. The game after our loss, both Schmid and Russell are back. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. And freaking Colburn. Colburn, I just realized that. Colburn was blocking me and he was playing defense. Oh, my goodness. That probably wouldn't have happened if a regular defenseman was in there. Calgary, come on. Got to call somebody up. All right, so it looks like they're giving us another chance here. They're going to be giving us a start here against a 500, uh, above 500 team for the first time this year, I believe. And we're going up against the Nashville, the Smashville Predators, 14, 10, and 3. So we lost uh, we lost that game in regulation, then we lose another one in overtime. So Calgary's kind of struggling right now. They're kind of struggling. But uh, Nashville, all right, Shea Weber, Pekka Rene, James Neal, the real deal James Neal. Other than offense, they don't really have nothing, nothing on offense. But if we're having a tough time scoring goals, Nashville could be a team to prevent us from scoring goals, especially with that defense. So... If you guys enjoyed this episode, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe as always. Next up, Calgary versus Nashville at home. Okay, so we're at home against Nashville. All right, so uh, I'll see you guys then.